Hi everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to do an unboxing. The boxes are, you probably can't see them, just under the table. But first, for anyone that follows me on Instagram, on Saturday morning, oh, cat's already playing with the box. So Saturday morning, I nipped into Asda, there was a couple bits and bobs I needed to get. And I'd remembered a couple months ago seeing that they do Disney dinnerware sets. And I thought, well, I'll have a quick look because obviously we're moving house soon. So we figured we could probably do with a, a new dinnerware set because we, we had a couple when we moved into this house. I mean, obviously over the years, things break, things smash and we just didn't replace them. Um, now I went and had a look and it was on sale. Originally it was £35 for the 12 set. I can't remember how much the bowl was. Um, but this was reduced to £22 from 35 and I love Dalmatians, so I had to get it. There is a Pooh Bear set that we want as well, but that one wasn't reduced. So I'm going to go back maybe next week and see if they've got the Pooh Bear set reduced, hopefully. I'm going to quickly show this just because it's so cute. So this is like a huge bowl. It says it's a pasta bowl suitable for dishwasher and microwave. And it's got the Dalmatians around it. It's so cute. So I'm going to try and very carefully, actually I'm going to put this down on the floor because the last thing I want to do is smash anything. So 12 piece in the set, it's quite heavy, um, I'm sealed just. So there should be four bigger plates, which seems to be the things that we accidentally smashed the most, four bowls and then four smaller plates. And we do have quite a few small plates anyway, but you can never have one. I just really quickly wanted to show this because I just think it's so cute. She says it might be difficult. Oh, I think oh, I might be in trouble. And I wonder if I can do this. Off and hold on to underneath. My turn. Pop the box there. And then that one there. Um, okay. Good thing I've got this with me. Right. It's going to be easier if I just do it on there because that is a bit heavy. Whoops. And I did keep the receipt because you never know. Um, last time when we bought a set like this, one of the plates in there was broken. But obviously because we kept the receipt, I just returned it and got another one. Okay, I think I've done this upside down. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut to when everything is out. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so I've got everything out of the box. Everything is in perfect condition. So I'm going to start with the bowls. They're all the same design. So all the bowls are the same, all the small plates are the same, and all the large plates are the same. So there's four of these. So that's the bowl, just a normal cereal bowl. And they are dishwasher and microwave safe, which is a plus. And then the small bowls, they're so cute. Again, microwave and dishwasher safe. I just love this set. They're so cute. And then, oh, I pressed those on me. And then the large plate is this one. And again, dishwasher and microwave safe. I just love the design on these. And I think it's on sale. We do love a good sale. So I'm going to just, I'm going to leave all that there for now. And just try and slide it more into the middle. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to leave that big bowl down there. So first unboxing. So there wasn't room for all the boxes on there, especially with the weight of this one. But I've got to say, it was very well packaged. They had, I'll pop it just down next to me, in between each of the plates, they have kind of a bit of card to just keep them safe. Um, and the box with the bowls in had like a divider in between all of them. So packaged very well. Okay, so this is a lounge fly, you probably already guessed. Now, I've been kind of umming and ahhing about getting this lounge fly for quite a while actually. I just bit the bullet. 
got it in the end. Uh, paper. Put that down there. Cat can enjoy that. Apologies for the noise. Uh, put that just down there. I'm going to get it out actually, it's probably the easiest thing. Um, There's a lot of tape. Hold on. Sometimes they only have a bit of tape on there, and then sometimes they have quite a few bits of tape on there. This one has quite a few bits. Oh my goodness, there's another one. Very secure. Okay. Oh, this looks like it. Oh, normally it's just a front and back bit. This looks like it's been sealed around it. I don't want to break it. Um, want to be delicate so if it comes with this packaging on there i do like to put it back on there just to keep it nice so i don't want to completely rip it out there we go so this one it's a disney parks one and it's themed around mickey and minnie's runaway railway which I haven't been on there yet. It opened after our last trip. I can't wait to go on there. I did cave. I have watched some YouTube videos on it. Sorry if there's any noise, the cat. And it looks like such a good ride. And when, when we were there last time, we actually started watching some of these style cartoons. So I can't wait to actually go on that ride. But this is, oh, this is beautiful actually. Like in person, this is so nice. I think the base, I don't know if it's quite white. There's some white on this. I think it's more of a slightly cream-ish colour or like an off-white so it's got the Disney Parks tag at the top and then it's got the different Mickey and Minnie's on there and then it has this beaming little sunshine with a big smile on his face oh I do love this bag is it just Mickey and Minnie oh no there's Pluto just there and then I don't know if there's Goofy anywhere on it I don't think it is no I think it's just Mickey Minnie and Pluto Ooh. so the bottom's just nice and blue i like how it's got like these pale blue accents on there like and around the zip and the straps so if i show you the full thing kitty's messing with the cardboard i'm so glad that i got this i've been umming and ahhing about it for a while because i thought well i haven't actually been on the ride yet so i wasn't sure but oh, I'm so glad I got this. See, this could be a Hollywood Studios backpack. But then the Star Wars backpacks. There's too many to pick from. So in the lining, oh, is the zip stuck? Oh no. This is packed with inner lining. Wow. Excuse the noise. Oh my goodness, it's quite a bit. So the inner lining on this one that's quite cute it's like a lot of lots of picnic things there's a train there's a there's a pie there's a car so that's the inner lining for this one and that should be the same in the front pocket we will just double check just to make sure yep i don't know if you can see that a little bit that same inner lining in there so that is lounge fly number one. Oops, is it back up? Oh, it's so pretty. Does that fit just there actually? Oh, I can move this bit. Okay. There we go. So second box should be a is there a tape all the way across? Oh yeah, there is. This should have a lounge fly. And a spirit jersey. Did I get that? Oh no, this is taped really well. Moment, please. Now I do love it when they're secure, but sometimes they're a bit pain to get into. Okay, got that bit. Okay, do the same round this side. 
cat's just there watching me. You can have this box if you want. Okay. I'm going to pop this back down, actually. So this is the spirit jersey. And it will make sense in a moment. Now, I think this... Yeah, this is from the outlets. It's Disney Cruise Line. Now, I've never been on a Disney Cruise one day, hopefully. Now, this is one of the Disney Cruise Line spirit jerseys. It has a pocket at the front and it does have a hood. It's got a glitter um, logo at the front. Let me show you that. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is like really fleecy. So this is going to be a really, really warm one. And it has a hood. I do love a hooded spirit jersey and across the back it says Disney Cruise Line so it's like a navy blue dark blue sort of colour and then glitter for the wording now this one has now spirit jerseys tend to have that slightly tighter bit on the arm just notice this one also has it on the bottom just there which I quite like so I mean, this is beautiful. I'm trying to, I can't really describe what colour the glitter is. I think it might be like a silver sort of colour. I think. Probably silver. So that's the spirit jersey. Hence the cruise ears. I thought that would be appropriate. And pop that there. Oh. And then lounge fly. Excuse the noise. I'm just going to go straight out, actually. Oh, see, one bit of tape on that one. This one. Sequin. This is beautiful. Let me get this bit off the ears, actually. So, this one's actually been released for quite a while. I don't know if... Did this one go to the outlets? I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I paid full price for this one. I don't know if this one went to the outlets. Or if just a couple might have been seen there. I'm really not sure. I know that the spirit jersey was from the outlets though. Um, so sequin. Like a pastel rainbow ombre. Maybe. Well no, ombre would be the same colour, wouldn't it? So just like pastel rainbow colours. Beautiful ears. And then the bow and the accents on this one are just black and normal. And then the back is the same as the bottom. And the straps. So you've got pinks, yellows, greens, blues. And baby pink just there. It goes to the colours there as well, so I'll show you the full thing. So it'd be retail for, there's no price, but I think the sequin one's retail for $90. I didn't check if there was a price on this one. It's probably taken off. No, there's no price on that one. I'd imagine this one retail probably around $75 or $80, but the sequin ones tend to retail for $90. I didn't check the spirit jersey. No, the tag's been ripped in half for that. I think, well, Spirit Jersey's at the moment retail for $69.99, but that one's got a hood on there and it's fleecy, so that one might have been nearer to the $75 mark. This is so pretty. Oh, I do love a sequin backpack. So we'll check the inner lining. Excuse the noise. one doesn't have as much lining to it. I've got boxes everywhere. So the inner lining for this one, it's mini bows and the actual bows are rainbows, which is quite cute. So that's the inner lining for this one. And then front pocket should be the same, but we will always double check just because you never know. Yeah. Front pocket is the same. Also a quick update on the tiki backpack that i got from ebay um a lot of people on facebook so i posted on there for any hints and tips as well suggested the dryer sheets so i've got some of those been trying that and it, it has improved it's still getting there so i'll still i'll persevere with it um so that's a plus that's an update and actually box lunch have released re-release well it's not a full re-release it's kind of because some of the re-releases, they're like an exact carbon copy. Box Lunch are releasing, have released, oh, was it Friday it was first out? I can't remember. 
Thursday or Friday it was first out. The Snow White Seven Dwarf all over print. Now I'm going to pop pictures of both up. So this one, my left, which is probably your right. This side is going to be the new one. This side is going to be the original Disney Parks one. Now you can see the difference. This print, the new one is a little bit smaller and it doesn't say Disney Parks on the tag like the original one does. So it's not an exact carbon copy. Um, and again, people are half and half. Some people are really glad that they can now have a chance to own this kind of the same, very similar print. And some that have recently paid a lot for the original are kind of annoyed that it's been released. Um, I mean, I'm glad because I don't have the original one if the pictures are still up. So I saw some comments on Facebook that it will be coming to the UK. It's not been confirmed who will stock it, but hopefully I managed to get one. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.